Docker is a very good tool, but how to utilize it with ROS2? In this video, we are going to be looking at different applications and use cases for ROS2 basic development. For example, how to run a basic Docker for your specific ROS version, how to bring your current development into Docker, how to multi-stage your development with the help of Docker. You are getting into Docker, you should check out Docker Hub. A lot of great images are available here. We are searching for ROS. There are two main repositories for ROS Docker images. One is OSRF and one is ROS. There is also a ROS2 which is experimental and have nightly builds. In OSRF ROS, I'll go into the tags and in ROS as well the tags. Let's search for Humble because we are only interested in Humble based images. It has Humble desktop full, Humble simulation and Humble desktop. So we will pull this one by copying this command and we are going to run this. Then we are going to go here and also go for Humble only. We have Humble raw score. We are interested in raw space. So let's open up another terminal and ROS humble ROS space. When this image is obtained, we are going to create a specific container, docker run interactive name of your container, which is going to be ROS2 basic container. Then the name of image, which is ROS repository and tag is humble ROS space. Press enter and we are now inside of Docker LSB release minus A, which tells us it's using this specific Ubuntu version and echo ROS distro. It's using Humble. So this environment is perfectly fine. Now let's take a look onto our first use case where we want to have an image of which when we create a container, our C++ package automatically gets created. So we can start developing right away. For that, we are going to start with simple ROS base image that we have just obtained from the repository. We have obtained from Docker Hub. Then we bring in some commands which will update, press Y for all the essentials, install callkin, ROS step and remove some catch. Then we have raw step update, which is essential when you have packages that have dependencies. So raw step update is going to run and we create our basic ROS2 workspace. Now comes the interesting path. Everything is set, right? Let's create source directory and source our ROS installation. So the system knows that there is ROS2 based command and we are going to bring in the basic package creation command, which is ROS2 package create build type eminent CMake and the name of the package. This is going to be interesting because I'm going to write package name. Now this is a variable and I want to have it variable whenever I run a new Docker, I will give this package a new name. And for that, I will bring in the argument and environment variables. These two are going to make the package with whatever name we want and they will make sense when we run through the command. Let's get out of this container. We are going to say docker build. We have build arguments, which is package name is going to be CPP. So in this specific image, whenever we are going to create an image, it is going to have this specific name for the package. Minus T and name of the image. ROS2 CPP package image. Dot basically means you are going to have this specific file, which is inside of this directory it has created let's take a look ross ross images minus a which lists all of these we have this image created let's create a container out of it docker run interactive what is the name of the container we want ross2 cpp container and image name is going to be ROS2 CPP. Press tab, it automatically gives you. Press enter. We are now having a container of this specific image. This might confuse you that we have image that we have container. So what we need to check, we need to check the package inside of it. Perform call can build. So it builds the package in this workspace and we have this package already there. VS code extension of Docker can help us a lot. We created this container and we are currently in this specific container. So we are going to go inside of ROS2 workspace and source. We have this package already there with source CMake list and all of these things. So the second case is putting our locally developed package on a Docker image so we can create containers and start developing upon it. I have cloned the Docker file of case one to case two. We have create container as well and a ROS2 based package as well named as drive db3. Let's start making the changes required. 
first of all the package name is already defined and we have the package perform the updates and installation of required things once that is done you are going to perform raw step update and once that is done we are going to set the directory to ROS2 source which actually creates these directories and we are simply going to perform copy this drive db3 to your current work directory once that is done we are going to simply source a ROS installation perform the ROS dep update so all the dependencies for this drive db3 package which are listed in the package xml it requires nav2 messages db3 navigation and gazebo messages all of these are going to be installed and afterwards it is going to perform call can build and afterward it is going to perform call can build which i'm going to remove from here because if you remember we are in the source directory now after that it is going to perform call can build and in docker you have to make sure that you are in the correct directory so i am going to bring this command here and put our work directory to ROS2 workspace so copy tb3 to source directory and get back to your main home directory of your workspace get back to your workspace root directory now again source it and perform call can build let's perform the building so i'm going to perform the build docker build minus t ROS2 tb3 dev and dot it is going to start building the image once that is done we are going to look at the images here we have it i will copy this name and we are going to go inside of our create container there are a lot of different things are mentioned which are just parameters for our uh, docker gui based development i'm just going to provide the image name and create the name of the container these are to enable my desktop gui get connected with the docker so i'll simply just say create container.sh i'm now inside of my docker the only thing that is not mentioned for my specific uh, simulation is my turtlebot 3 model but let's try to run it and let's first source our ROS installation source opt ROS humble setup bash and ROS to launch drive tb3 it is now accessing my package in docker drive tb3 p5a it is going to tell me that turtlebot model is not defined i am going to export it export export tb3 as waffle underscore pi and this is now going to run the simulation it would be wise if i just simply put it here regarding my turtle bot model but if it is dynamic and changing not a fixed one so i will not put in the base image creation code so here you can see the simulation with the robot it is performing some may solving process but it's totally running in docker so case number three is staging your docker development you build part of it first and then you utilize in the second stage when you are working with docker this is very important i have taken the docker file from case number two you might be saying it's humble desktop right you have to first understand that the size of humble desktop is very big which can be seen by docker images minus a Docker desktop, humble desktop is 3.44 GB and humble raw space is 752 MB. And this code, which is in drive tb3, does not require humble desktop. So I will get rid of this image, ROS humble ROS base, which is this base image that is of this size. It is only required to build this drive tb3. Now, this is stage number one, and I will call it as stage underscore one. Afterwards, we are going to create another stage in the same Docker file and I will call it stage number two. And this is going to be OSRF ROS Humble Desktop. Now in this stage number two, we are going to enable the GUI and gazebo based things. Before that, it is just going to compile the code that we have. So this is going to be quite interesting. And we are just going to copy the commands from stage one specific directory, which is install directory that contains the ROS2 executable files, or we can call binaries to the ROS2 install of this humble desktop image that we are creating export the sourcing export the source command export the turtle board 3 model and perform the update so i'm going to perform docker build minus t ros2 tb3 staged dot so it is going to take some time but what you have to understand here is two different images 
staged first one is just to build this code and the second one is for gui application this staging helps a lot when deploying the code meaning that you don't need to change this part this stage you just need to make changes in the source code of your package and you just make changes and build the first stage stage 2 remains the same once it is built, we can see with docker images minus a where we have this ROS db3 stages and it is now built with this big size. What we need to do is to now create a container and I will get this name. I will go into the container, edit the same file and provide the image name and name of the container it will create. So here I have this create container file just going to run create container dot sh. It has created the container. We now need to understand what these stages actually did. For example, this stage performed the Colcon build. So it should have source install and all of these things, right? But actually it just have the install directory and no source, no build and nothing else. Just the install directory, which contains the executables of our package, which is very important to understand. And the reason for that is we just copied install folder which contains the binaries only and no other thing. And then I will just launch ROS2, launch drive tb 3 p 5 a maze solving. Let's run it. It should bring up whole environment that I created and it has started following the line and the log is also appearing on the screen. So this whole GUI of gazebo is running in the docker and the simulation is running but i needed to make sure to run this gui on my screen i have to provide this create container with these mounting of the volume environment variables and privilege and host connections understanding docker and utilizing in our own projects takes a little bit more effort than basic github version controlling but you have to keep in mind that docker enables the whole development team to become independent of the ubuntu versions and if there are certain people who are running the simulations in a different environment so they can easily pull the docker and run that specifically if you are working with cloud-based solutions docker helps a lot and it's not about just docker there are other options like lxt containers which we will create another video about and understand in detail how they are better for ros2 specifically than docker